Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jane from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. We had a question today. We've got a site here. It's got a little hero section and some other little sections as we roll on down. And somebody asked a question. Oh, could I have a static image over the back of all these sections here? And the simple answer is, yeah, absolutely you can. And we've done that next door. We've got exactly the same page here. And we've got that static image rolling down the page just like that. As you can see, that image is staying in the background and all the contents just floating above it. Really easy to do, no coding or anything like that involved today, so let's get started. Let's go to our page here. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Just to show you what's going on, I'll show you the structure of this page. If I go down to my little purple button at the bottom, we'll go to wireframe mode at the back here. Takes us to the back end. So I've got a full width section, that's why it's purple at the top there, then I've got another section with various rows and columns in it. And as we continue going down, I've got more and more little sections there. And we want exactly the same image behind all of these sections here. So it looks as if everything's scrolling up over the top of it. So as you can see, we've got a lot of sections there. So let's flip back to desktop mode. What we need to do is take away the background for any sections that we want to have this static background in. And you can choose, you can leave some in there or you can take some out, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to go ahead and take them all out. So let's go up here to our full width section. I've got a feeling this image we're looking at resides in the full width one module itself. If we look in the background here, yeah, there's no image there. So let's go into our little module here, dark tab for the module. Content, always find background under content as the background. There's the actual image itself. Let's just delete it and take it away and hit the trash can there. And it's a little bit gray looking here. It should be white on white. Actually, you shouldn't be able to see that right. Really, that tells me I've got a bit of an overlay on my full width header here. So if we go into design, here's the overlay down here. I'm going to make that transparent. There we go. So there's nothing on there. Now we can save that. We'll go back into our full width header here. Into the background. And then go over to image. We've got color, gradient, image, video, background pattern, or background mask. Of course, we're using an image today. We'll pop in that same image. And as you can see, it's in the background there. But if we scroll up and down there, it's just going to disappear like a normal section. We want it to be static. So to do that, just under the image, you'll find Use Parallax Effect. Make sure you're on the image. We're going to flip that one to on. Roll down just a little bit more. In fact, let's expand this so you can see it a little bit more. Just below, you'll find Parallax Method. True Parallax means it's moving at a slightly different rate than the front of the site. So it's, it's moving, but just at a different rate. That's real parallax or true parallax. CSS parallax is also fixed background. So that image is now going to stay exactly where it is. And that's exactly what we want for this today. Great. Well, that's our first section. We need to basically rinse and repeat for all the sections that we want to take this image away from. Let's save this. Go down to our little next image here. Go to the section. We're always working with the section here, the blue tab or the purple tab if it's full width section. Back there. Image. We'll add that same image if you want this effect. Again, I'm going to say use parallax effect. CSS parallax. And as you can see, it's merged with that section below. And if you have things on there that don't look right, for instance, let's pretend there's no background on this. If you think, well, I can't read that writing properly, you can mix and match and you can put backgrounds on the elements on top. Of course, I could put that blue back there or whatever color. 
You can also do it to your rows as well if you want to affect things that way. Go into the row, the green tab for the row. Put a bit of a background on there. I'll use a black. Just take the opacity down a bit to make it a little more subtle. So you see some of the image behind. Just click on the black field. Variegated slider right there. Take it down to however you want to highlight various things on your site. Of course, we want to put a bit more padding there. I'm going to leave that just as it is. Okay, well, that's two sections. We've just got to keep going down. And like I say, you can leave some in there. If you wanted to leave that particular section in there, you could just leave it as is. I think I'm going to put images in all of mine. So remember, it's the blue tab for the section. Background. Image. And of course, the important part is use the parallax effect. Make sure it's on CSS. And it will just merge into the one on top. But that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to continue going down the rest of this site. And I'll do that to the rest of these images. And we'll save and show you the results. Okay, I'm on the last one now. I'm going to go in there background image pop our little image in there and there we have it that's our last one here just for fun on the back end you may see them disappear occasionally but that's fine there we will be on that there on the front end just for fun let's take this little section right here I'm going to make it full width. Over to design, width, drag that up to 100%. Copy that, control C, drop down a max width, paste it in there, control V, or just type it in there. That's great. I'm going to put a bit of padding either side. Spacing just down below. Padding left and right. I'm going to get it 5%. That'll work on all devices. Hit the chain, it'll do the other side. And top and bottom, give it 30 pixels. And we'll give it a background now. So it stands out a bit, but we'll make it opaque so we can see the image rolling behind it. So again, in content down the background, just give it a color. Click on the color field. You can pull the opacity slider down. So you can see as much as or as little of the background there just to shake things up a bit when we roll down the side. Okay, let's save this, make sure it's going to work on the front end. And exit the Visual Builder. And there we are on the top. We can roll down. And that picture is staying static in the background there, which is what we want. There's our little dark section that we put in there. So there you go. I hope that's answered that question for you. That's how easy it is to add a static background to all of your sections within a page. Really easy to do. Like I say, no coding involved. Well, that's a pretty striking thing to have on your site. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Or make a little demo video like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.